Libby gives you the option to customize your preferences. So you might find that you tend to only read ebooks or only look for audiobooks. You might have a preference for certain languages, or maybe you are setting this up on a device for your kids and you want to limit their access to more adult content. So we can set up these preferences within the Libby app from the home screen. So you can always get back to this by going to library at the very bottom, and we'll tap on preferences in this orange bar. From there, we're able to choose the format. That's whether we want to look just for books. In this case, it means ebooks, so books we read on a computer screen. We can just look for audiobooks, or we could just look for magazine. That means it will filter out the rest of those formats, so you're only seeing ebooks if that's your preference, audiobooks if that's your preference, or magazines. So let's go with ebooks or just books. We can also choose the language that you want to look for things in. So maybe you just want to see things that are available in English. Maybe you want to see things that are available in German. We can choose the audience. So that's going to be the age level of the particular material. So this could be juveniles, that's kids books. Young adult is generally into teenagers. General content is kind of everything. <laughs> things that are aimed at adults and kids too. And mature content is going to be not books aimed for like 65 plus, but steamy romance, etc. So we could set it to being just young adult. Not sure how much we're going to find for German young adult books, but let's find out. You can choose the support as well. So what format you want to read in. So maybe you only read on your Kindle. You could choose to just see books that are available with Kindle. You could choose their availability. So whether you want to see everything that's out there or you want instant gratification and you want to see what's available right now. What can I start reading? You can even choose what the sort is within your search or within your browsing. So do you want to see it by relevance? How closely it matches what you've searched for? How popular it is? How new it is? By the author? By the title? We'll leave that one alone for now. Just the default. And if we go to apply preferences, there probably aren't going to be a lot of books that match this particular set of preferences like we see here. So let's try this. Let's take off our German language. That probably threw things for a loop. And now when we apply, we see books filter down to just what fits our preferences. So if I wanted something like the Queen of Nothing by Holly Black, I would be able to tap on it, read a description. So that's how we can use our preferences to really tailor what we're looking for. This can be really helpful if you do have a strong preference in terms of your format or your availability or your audience as well. We can also remove these preferences if you find you're just not finding anything by going to preferences, and just changing everything back to all or any. Now when we apply preferences, we see a lot more books because we've opened it up to a lot more options. Thanks for watching and you can check out the rest of our video tutorials.